Installing Wire Step 1. To install new wire in the gun, first remove the gas diffuser and the tip. Step 2. Disassemble the gun by unscrewing the red T-bolt. Step 3. Grab the lower portion and lift up, ensuring that it is completely disengaged from the metal tab at the top of the gun. Step 4. Remove the lever tension spring adjuster selector. Step 5. Remove the gas line from its fitting. Step 6. Install the wire spool, ensuring the wire runs clockwise in direction. Step 7. Feed the wire through the gun, ensuring that it is centered in the groove in the trigger, as well as the slot in the brass bracket. Step 8. Feed the wire through the end of the gun. Step 9. Reinstall the gas diffuser and the tip. Step 10. Reconnect the gas line. Step 11. Lift the red lever. Step 12. Reinstall the lever tension spring adjuster selector. Step 13. Reinstall the cover, but do not over tighten. For MIG welding, step 1. Start with approximately 3 8 or a fingertip's width of stick out. Step 2. Adjust the feed speed. This can be changed according to personal preference, but we recommend starting at the second slowest level. Connecting the gun and ground for flux core welding and no gas. Note. The colors on the connectors will be connected with the opposite color, red to black and black to red. Step 1. Slide the connectors together. Step 2. Plug in both connectors. Step 3. Connect the ground crossover bullet terminal on the gun cable to the ground cable. Step 4. Connect the trigger control connector to the control charger port on the power pack, ensuring the index slot is properly aligned, then tighten the connector nut. Step 5. Lift the safety cover and turn the unit on. Connecting the gun and ground, welding with gas. Note: The colors on the connectors will be connected with the same color red to red, and black to black. Step 1. Connect the air hose. Step 2. Slide the connectors together. Step 3. Plug in both connectors. Step 4. Connect the ground crossover bullet terminal on the gun cable to the ground cable. Step 5. Connect the trigger control connector to the control charger port on the power pack, ensuring the index slot is properly aligned, then tighten the connector nut. Step 6. Open the gas valve and adjust as needed. Step 7. Lift the safety cover and turn the unit on. Inspection. Step 1. Remove the nozzle and inspect for damage. 
Step two, inspect the diffuser tip. It should be able to turn freely and without the wire catching. The opening in the tip should be free and clear of obstruction. Remove any weld buildup with a file or wire brush. Step three, inspect the bushing for breaks or cracks. Step four, inspect the electrical connections for damage, paying particular attention to where the wires lead into the connectors. There should be no fraying or exposed wires. Step five, inspect the ground clamp for clean copper fittings. Clean with a file or wire brush if necessary.